guys. We've ordered an Indian. I've got, thank you, Corey. I've got onion bhajis. This is really hot on my fingers. I got chicken tikka and I got keema rice. Also got keema naan. Normally, I do like my Indian wrap, but I'm not going to do that tonight because I'm starving. Like, I'm actually going to faint if I don't eat in a minute. So I'm just going to slap it all on the plate. Do you know what I mean? Leave it down below. How often do you get takeouts or depending on where you live, I guess takeaways, since that's what's really common in the UK. Uh, how often do you get it? In my opinion, uh, for me, and people around me, it seems like it's once or once every two weeks that I see most of my friends and most of the people around me that get takeaways. Um, but for some reason, these individuals get takeaway every night, literally every single night, if not every day. So I obviously know that this is how they make their money. This is, you know, social media for them is just buying copious amounts of food and then eating it on camera, which is like one step away from feederism because you're literally entertaining hundreds of thousands of people and watching them watching you consume thousands and thousands and thousands of calories is basically that, right? Let's be honest here for a second. So if you feel like, if you feel like it's morally okay for these people to do that, it's fine. I, I, it's totally okay that they're doing this. Unless it's against TOS, I don't really give a fuck that they're eating all these foods. I mean, it is kind of insane to watch these people digest and swallow and satisfy their lips as often as they as they do. Um, but this is their job. A lot of people don't. A lot of people don't really seem to understand that. Like when they consume these calories. They might be doing it because they love eating food, obviously, but they're also doing it because they get copious amounts of money doing this particular thing. I mean, they're getting sponsorships, they're getting money, they're getting clout, they're getting all that stuff from just eating food. And you know what? There are worse things that you can do. You could be literally in a glory hole right now, licking the brim in anticipation for the next man to come through and throw dick between that. Now, I don't know if women go to glory holes. I don't know if women are even on the receiving end of glory holes. I, I presume no. Because, like, what do you even do? It's a flat surface on a flat surface. What do you even do there? So you just got to wait for the big BBC to come through the wall. So there are plenty of other things that I would rather not do, but still pretty deplorable activity. But anyway, we're going to watch some Sherry Ann today, and we're going to enlighten our brains with the beauty of this individual. This is a keema naan, and it's got, like, meteor in the middle. <gasps> Look at that. Unreal. I'm going to put some keema rice on first. <laughs> I've actually got it in a bowl tonight. But wow. Some Somebody let me know where they're from exactly. Is it like what where, where exactly in the UK? Wales? Is it Wales? Is that the way you're supposed to pronounce it? Wales. Is that the way you're pronouncing it over there? Because like Corey, Sherry, and all them, they're all from that, with the exception of Becky. And you can obviously see when Becky talks, she doesn't have that row wow. Oh my god. Right? So much of that booger. A booger. There's so many of that, but you don't see it. They add extra syllables wherever they possibly can. Um, but Becky doesn't have that because I'm presuming she's from a different area. Uh, is that is that a Wales thing? Let me know down below. So much nicer in a bowl, I just know it is. This is the keema rice. Absolutely gorgeous. Right, I've got to put this three ways. So I need to be, what's Con that word when you think about other people? Conservative. You need to be conservative for other people. But let's be honest here for a second. You know, you guys remember when you was a kid? And you and your, your your sister or you and your brother was sitting there trying to divide up the candy. And you knew, if you let me divide it up, I'm getting a bigger slice. But I'm going to make it seem like I'm not really getting a bigger slice. I mean, it might be slightly bigger. But then again, I'm like a year older than you. So, like, you know, I'm, I might be deserving of that bigger slice. I might need that bigger slice. I mean, what the fuck did you do today? You know what? The whole thing is from me. I don't give a fuck. You don't deserve that shit, okay? You know what, dude? When we're playing Smash later tonight, you're not even going to have your controller connected. Same thing. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure that Sherry Ann's gonna make her plate wig. Considerate. That's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I was being generous. <laughs> Funny. They can never call me a best friend because I've actually left them three quarters of my keema naan. Good girl. That three quarters, huh? I, I disagree. I think that you probably took around a third. Uh, yeah, three quarters. Don't don't agree. I think that you probably took one third. Is right. bestie goals. Oh, oh, yeah. wow. right. Why is it so many syllables? Goals. Goals. Isn't goals one syllable? Goals. Go walls. Chicken tikka masala. She's giving pink. She's giving she is giving pink. If this was Becky Jones, Becky Jones would just swallow the whole thing. I don't know if Sherry Ann's going to just eat the whole thing here. But whenever I see Becky Jones get a uh, uh, an Indian takeout, I always see her just dump the entire thing, just 90 degree angle, solidly down on her plate. She's or bowl. Barbie. Or my bad. Bow wow. I think it's Bob's. She is. She should be using my fake tan. 
<laughs> right, I'm gonna slap this on. Whoa. Oh my god, that's literally Okay, she's considerate. She is considerate. I'll give I'll give Sherry Ann that. And you know what? Out of all the friends here, I do like Sherry Ann too. Um personally my favorite one though is Corey. You guys know <laughs> I love Corey, bro. At first I did like Becky Jones. I do like Becky Jones still. I think Becky Jones is a sweetheart. I think she's amazing. I think she's beautiful. Um Corey though, it's just some about Corey, dude. And by the way, as the time of this making this video, Corey. I think proposed to his girlfriend, Leah, which is beautiful. I don't know why we're so caught up on this lore, but I want to um, congratulate Corey and Leah on their beautiful, beautiful, beautiful uh, um, romance that they got and hope that they have amazing life ahead of them, uh, being together forever in a relationship such as a marriage. That's oh, so beautiful, so amazing. So I think it's amazing that Corey and Leah are getting together. Um, I want to just give them a... That's amazing. So women... Look at that. You know, really think about this for a second, though, right? Whenever I see Becky eating, it's literally the the entire portion size of all of it. L the, the, Sherry Ann is actually uh, only eating a third, a third of everything, it looks like. Um, besides the bread, of course. The bread is full. But still, like, she's eating a third of everything, and it's still fucking massive as hell. Um, just really puts it in perspective whenever you see Becky eating anything in, in general. It's just like, holy shit. Like, Becky really does eat a lot of food. Pink bowl of goodness. And then... I've got onion bhajis. There's four in here, but I'm going to leave them some. Oh, okay. <laughs> so does that mean you're only going to have one or two? Because how do you split up four three ways? You can't. You're going to have to. Somebody, somebody's going to have to get two. Very considerate. <laughs> Very mindful. Very good. I am going to have two, though, because yep. considering I'm giving you half my rice. Totally understandable. Makes sense. Somebody's going to have to. Somebody was going to have to sacrifice at least one. I'm going to take two of We've your bhajis. Well. I so know. Skinny. And then I've got mint jelly. Oh, there's chips mint too, jelly, apparently. Mint sauce. Damn, bro, it's kind of going crazy tonight, dude. Unreal. Unreal. I just put my finger on the onion bunions. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, oh my God, I'm bleeding. Let's have a look. Are you serious? Oh, it's fine, Jack. It's the tin. It's the tin. Whenever they open up the tin foils and stuff like that, they get carried away so fast. And I don't know if you guys have ever had your foreskin be cut by a paper cut or something like that dude it's uncomfortable it doesn't feel good at all so when i see people cutting like the in the corners oh oh i knew people in my middle school that we used to do that on purpose they would literally slide fit like paper across their fingers to show how hard they were which is crazy bro like yeah i'm a real one man i'm a fucking real one watch me slide this shit across my finger what you're not a real one you're just stupid dude but it's just slight it's just a slight little cut it's okay yeah i Oh, oh, being attacked. Attacked. oh my god, I'm actually being attacked. Are you sure that's not just the sauce? No, I cut Wait, it. Actually, oh my god. It's alright, you're fine. Oh, you're fine. Oh, you're okay. I'm gonna fight. I'm gonna fight. It's not that big of a deal, dude. Get some dawn on that shit. You alright, dude? We all have those moments uh, where we cut ourselves and it's not that big of a deal. Don't worry about it. I remember one time when I was working at this one establishment and this guy said he needed some help with some rugs. I worked at this, like, I don't know what you want to even call it. It's like a, a really, really big outlet store, which sold almost anything. But we used to have, like, stacks and stacks and stacks of rugs, like maybe 200 rugs that were stacked on top of each other. And I remember this one Haitian guy was like, yo, David, I need some help. Um, sorry. Hey, David, come here, let me, come here, help me, real quick. I need some help trying to move these rugs. This woman want one at the very bottom. Help me, David. So I'd have to help him out. Um, and I never had carried my gloves because I never needed to carry my gloves because I was always on the register. But this one day, uh, I should have been carrying my gloves. And everything, every day past that point, I did. But he needs some help. So we had to, like, move the rugs one at a time over each other in order to slip out the one on the very bottom because the one at the very bottom was the one she wanted. And I remember, dude, when I was sliding the rugs, I rug burned, literally. I rug burned on the bottom part of the rug. And I had, like, this major, like, red um blister on the side of my hand and i think it was that bad but it stayed there for like four weeks i'm not even joking it was like a permanent damage upon my skin and every day i looked at it i was like what the fuck did i just do i should have i should have had my gloves i should have been able there i should have been able to like know that there was going to be a time where i was working this job where i needed to wear these gloves and every day po post that that occasion I did have my gloves. I always did. And these were like the gloves with the grips and things like that. They were like the, the hard gloves and stuff like that. So I always kept them on me, even though 99% of the time I would never need them. But I know it didn't take that much effort out of the day to take the gloves and just put them in my back pocket. It wasn't that big of a deal. But uh, yeah, bro, it's okay to wear gloves. You may look like Michael Jackson every once in a while, but it's fine. <laughs> right, I'm going to 
right anyway i'm gonna go now because i'm actually gonna faint from that and this is my indian <laughs> 10 out of 10 embryo it's not bad you know i'm gonna keep it a buck sharon yan sharon that's beautiful if you've got a bandage that's crazy, bro. Come on, ain't that big of a deal, dude. Come on, my bad. It's not that. It's not that big of a deal. Guys, we're in Toby Carvery, and this is my Toby. She looks absolutely gorgeous. I think I brown. Got, yeah, dripping. It's just brown. It's just all brown, Neapolitan. Right, I've got a Yorkshire. Um, they go out too often. Like I, the the friend group seems fun. They seem like they have a lot of great. Uh, they they have they live great lives and stuff like that. They all communicate well. But they just go out way too often. And it just sucks that like all their content that they produce on the internet is literally just them eating. And don't get me wrong, they do have other content. Like Corey um, works out every once in a while, not that much recently. Um, and same thing with Leah, they work out every once in a while. Even Becky works out every once in a while. But it's very few and far between. And you only really see it like maybe once a week. And if not that, maybe like every one month. Because Corey and Leah, they have been on a row of just recording themselves eating and traveling consistently. They're currently in Poland right now as the time that's making this video um, where he's gonna propose to her, which is really weird. Like proposing to your girlfriend in Poland of all places. I don't know. I mean, I guess, look, there are worse places to propose to your girlfriend. Like I remember one time when we were on stream, I saw this video of a guy that proposed to his girlfriend in front of a Cinnabon in a mall. And she said, no, she said it wasn't romantic enough. And you know what? I've always kind of thought um, when I've talked to people before and they go, if you don't propose to me in a romantical place, then the answer is going to be no. What are you talking about? What do you mean no? It doesn't. It shouldn't matter where I propose to you at. To be honest, um, the fact that you're going to say no, if if I like, what does that mean then? Does that just mean that we just like we just break up? Like, what does that mean? Because if you say no, that's the end of the relationship, right? But I think that the idea of somebody saying no to a uh, a, a proposal. What do you mean you're going to say no because it's not romantic enough? Dude, suck me the fuck off, okay? What are you talking about? Man, I'm, I'm proposing I'm proposing right now in front of a Cinnabon, in front of all these people in this for, food court, okay? If you say no, the relationship's over. That's fucked up, okay? We've been together for however many years, and you're talking about some, I, we, we can't do it because you didn't propose to me in a, in a romantical place. Come on, bro. Come on. But uh, in that video, by the way, he proposed to her there because that's the place they met. It was in a, in a line of a Cinnabon. It, I'm going to keep it a buck. I don't know what the guy was thinking. That's crazy as fuck. You should have proposed to her on a beach or something like that or something like that. It would have been way better than a Cinnabon. Mac and cheese, roasties, pork crackling, mash, apple sauce, <laughs> beef, <laughs> gammon. Damn, them lashes are just... They just, I don't like the lashes, man. I just really don't like the longness of the lashes. And I, she, not to appease me, she doesn't. But that's my opinion when I see when I see those ginormous, like, 13-inch lashes. I just think, how uncomfortable is that? How uncomfortable is it? Because for me, I have exorbitant long lashes myself, right? A lot of women have sometimes, I've had plenty of women in my life tell me, like, what do you do for your lashes? I'm thinking, like, what the fuck do you mean? What am I, why are you implying that I'm doing anything with my lashes? I don't even wash myself properly, and you think that I'm doing something with my lashes? What are you, crazy? But a lot of women have told me, like, I wish I had your lashes. I wish I had your eyebrows. I wish I had these. You look, you know, these are so long, whatever. This is just a waste for you. And I'm just thinking, like, I know. They're total waste for me. I don't even like them, necessarily. Like, the amount of times that I've waken up in the morning, or I've washed my face, and one of my lashes was, like, slightly poning down for the rest of the day because it was just, like, I don't know, lubricated in the wrong direction, like a uh, an eyelash cowlick. And for the entire day, I have to keep moving my lashes out of my fucking face because I hate it so bad. Uh, it's the same thing there. How do you not, like, is this just something you get used to? Like, you just don't care that when you look, you just see the lashes curling? Is that not, like, bad for you? Because I like having my vision uninterrupted. I want to see everything all the time. And um, I don't like hair in my face. I don't like having uh, big lashes like that in front of my face. I don't like any of that. So let me know down below. Is it uncomfortable? Let me know. I, I need to know. And I've actually got man or woman. I know there are plenty of dudes out there that have eyelash extensions and things such and so forth, and you're installing them. It's totally fine. It's not homosexual, by the way. If you're a guy and you want to install lashes, it's not. It's just not. It's not gay to do that in the same way. It's not gay to let a woman peg you if that's what you want to do. I would never do that. I would never fucking do that. But if you want to do that, totally not homosexual in any way. If you're letting your boy, though, if you're a man and you're heterosexual, and you're letting a guy do that to you, that's gay. No veg. Also, top tip with the Toby Carvery, put your grave in your yard. Grave. It's so, it's so interesting the way you guys say that. Bow wow. Grave. Row wow. I've got Boom. mac and cheese, top tip. Put your mac and cheese in your yogurt. Mm. Stuffing balls, a whole onion, roasted mash, mint jelly, cabbage. 
cabbage. Oh, sure. Gotta add the green somewhere. It's a great idea. Stunning. Mm, roast dinner, obviously. Who this girl, bro? Hold up now. <laughs> With lots of mac and cheese. Um, only veg we've got is peas and cabbage, but I didn't want to like waste any room with any more veg, so. She seems nice. She does seem nice. Stunning. Whatever this is. So, I've got Yorkshire, I've got mash, I've got a little bit of stuff. Oh shit, dude, Meghan Markle? I didn't know Meghan Markle was over in the UK right now. A little bit of mac and cheese, an ensemble of veg. I remember for a long time, like I remember talking to my friends and I was asking like, hey, can Meghan Markle say the N word? And they would go, dude, what the fuck are you talking about? Let me look her up. They look her up. No, she, what? David, no, obviously she can't say the fucking N-word. What are you talking about? Look at her. She's fucking white. And I was like, well, let's step back for a second now. Meghan Markle is a black woman. And they'd go, what are you talking about? Meghan Markle is not a black woman. I'm looking at her right now. This woman got less melanin than some Korean pop stars. What are you talking about? And then I would show up the dad and I show up the mom and I go, look at that black woman. Black. If Obama can say the N-word, she can say the N-word, and then they were flabbergasted. They were sitting there going, I can't believe this. I can't believe that she could say the N-word as a black woman. She can. Carrots. It's unfortunate sometimes when you, because like a lot of people don't like, a lot of people will just automatically assume that you're not black if you don't look black, but it's, you know, it is what it is. I'm black too, by the way. I think there's, there's, there's Brussels sprouts in there, there's peas. Um, it's much better. like a Christmas dinner. I don't know if you guys have ever had Christmas dinner before. That's not exactly what I was saying is, but go ahead. Much. We've just bumped into my nan. And oh, baby, I can't believe you've gained so much weight. Oh, not like, not like your father. Your father had such good, good weight on him. He was a strapping young man. And how was your dinner? What did you have on it? Didn't you? So I do have my and I've got okay. Leah definitely seems like she's on a health cake right now. I've I've noticed. I've noticed her reducing the amount of calories and eating less and making more variety and making an attempt actually to to, to try to make her diets a little bit better. I have all the all of it. Not bad. Lunch. Why eat a day? Hocus Pocus edition. Woke up to a glorious morning. It makes me sick. I had a cuppa in my witch's brew mug Ooh. and I made witch's hot pastries. These With Nutella in it, I believe, right? I think these things did have Nutella in there. So uh, they might look good here, but when you put them in your mouth, 200 calories, easy, easy, probably even more, probably more than 200 calories. Each one of those is probably like 250, maybe even more. Sit. I had a cuppa in my witch's brew mug and I made witch's- And then just adding sticks into stuff because you want to have like little things poking out the top of them. I don't like it. It's like lollipops and stuff like that. I just want the candy. I just want to suck on the candy. Uh, I don't want the stick on it. Why do so many people like bones and sticks and things in their food? Now I get it. It's cool when you're slurping off the meat straight off the bone and stuff like that. And it's like aesthetic or whatever. But I don't really care about that. Like I'd prefer if all my mood, all my food was boneless. Um, and no sticks involved. I just personally don't want to eat around something. And I think I'm not that crazy. I think you're the crazy one for trying to eat things around the bone. Yeah, that, no, I'm going to die on a hill. I think if anybody tries to get food with bones in it or sticks, you're just fucking weird. Just hot pastries. These were absolutely gorgeous. I Damn, that tanner was looking a little bit crazy, bro. So I've understood that the lore over there in the UK is the reason why so many people have the tanner or the fake tanner upon their faces and body is because that the sun doesn't exist in the UK. And if it does exist, it's like once every four or five months or something like that. And you have to emulate that you do go outside in the sun. But it's also kind of weird because you're in an environment where nobody sees the sun just like you. Can you imagine literally showing up to a party and you're like the only one tan? And you're just like, hey. Where the fuck have you been, bro? Like, we've been hanging out all week, and you are literally brown. Like, you're literally darker than Kamala Harris. What the fuck is going on? Where have you been, dude? The sun hasn't existed in our country and since, like, 1988. What are you doing? How the fuck did you, how'd you get this tan? It's, it's probably a conversation starter, right? Had some pumpkin cakes, then we went down to m &S to do a food shop for tonight. And then you can plug your fake tan, right? Oh my god, guys, trust me. Even though this tan looks so amazing, it's really not real, and it's actually Charlie Ann's fake tanner. It's the pink fake tanner, guys. Make sure you guys check it down below in the comments. It's so great. Oh my god. Hi, I want to make a Hocus Pocus cheese board tonight. Also grab some- What is Hocus Pocus? I'm guessing some type of Halloween movie. I've never seen it. I don't know. Like, maybe I'm just weird for not watching Hocus Pocus. I've never seen that. Full sticks, because I made- Okay. It's cool. It is cool. I'll give you that. It's 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 definitely really really cool. 
sometimes I think that these cheese boards and things like, like the, the things that they do, right, would just be so much more beneficial if any of them had kids. Because the amount of people that I see doing this, this type of stuff that don't have kids that are just doing it for themselves, it's fine. It's okay. But I feel like you need an excuse to do it, right? Like I remember when I was hanging out with this girl. It was last year, and it was during Halloween, and she was like, I want to do stuff. Let's go to a party. Let's do this and that. And we were looking up a whole bunch of parties because I don't know anybody that goes to Halloween parties and stuff like that. And every time we looked stuff up, it would just be, oh, bring your kids along. And I'm just sitting here like, I have none of those. I have no kids. I'm going to be weird as hell showing up with this mixed-race woman. It's going to be me and this other person, and it's going to be like – it's just not going to work because, like, we don't have kids. I can't lie. You know, I can't lie. I'm like, oh, yeah, we have kids somewhere here. I don't fucking know. I don't know. Hey, is this, is this food for anybody? Like, can we – can anybody have this? So it's just weird. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like having a children, even if it's not your own – I'm not saying, like, go abduct the children. Like, if you know somebody that has a children that's in your family and, like, maybe it would be the proper measure to just bring it along. You know, like, hey, bro, you want some, like, fruit by the foot or some shit? Like, I don't know. What do you eat? What do kids eat nowadays? I don't know. Like, iPads? I don't know, dude. But I think it's cool sometimes if you have kids because then you have an excuse to do stuff and then people don't look at you weird making witches broom snacks i made them out of the it's just all sticks. cheese and like it's just just 100 cheese there the cheese strings they were stunning i wanted to make some pumpkin rice crispy cakes the only food color i had was red so they don't look like pumpkins but they did taste stunning they tasted okay. like a square bar who is this person making you this food though sherry ann huh something you want to talk about you want to tell us about your interracial relationship i'm here for it. lesbian and interracial whoa progressive through the roof and not even to mention you're literally in the plus size category i mean this is literally like this is oppression on top of oppression on top of oppression like the social hierarchy you're at the very bottom um keep doing you sis you know slay queen edges got the savvy b out because it's time to make a sexy spiky volley Ooh. i wanted to make it, it doesn't actually look bad though i'm gonna keep it a buck it does not look bad it, so it looked like sarah sanderson the pasta's don't meant look to be bad. dipping blonde. oh i don't know about dry pasta like that what are we dipping the pasta in the sauce that seems weird, bro. I didn't actually make this sexy spiky bolly, and I've never tried it with red wine before. And honestly, it was... Got a charcuterie board. Stunning. And it doesn't expire until 2025. Then we made a hocus pocus cheese board. Obviously, that's put Winnie oh, in the middle. It's so beautiful. So cutesy. So demure. Mm. She looks so cutesy. And then somebody decided to put a little tag on it. But one unreal cheese boards. It's only right that we watch Hocus Pocus and I finally lit my Hocus Pocus candle. We had some snacks. Do people on buy candles anymore? I wasn't aware that anybody bought candles. There's a few places around where I live where you can buy the Jesus ones. And the only people that really buy the Jesus candles is like when they're putting them next to street poles because their like great grand sister died or their fucking their best friend died in a shootout on that strange seat pole like you'd be surprised like i live in boston dude sometimes you just walk by like a memorial and people they represent it for the people that died which is beautiful and amazing and but sometimes it's a little bit weird like i remember one time i was walking by a memorial for somebody and you see the regular stuff, you know, you saw the Jesus candles, you saw balloons, maybe you saw a little note on the side. Alcohol, Hennessy, I don't know, dude, empty bottles of Hennessy, not too weird. Condoms? Condoms? What are we doing with the condoms? What, like boxes of unopened condoms. What, 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 what am I supposed to get from this? Who, is, who, who put this here, right? That's kind of weird, right? Condoms? So I was watching the film, I made these witches hair cauldrons, lit the black candle, and it was all just a bunch of hocus pocus. Beautiful. Ooh. Yeah, Sherry Ann do be liking her cheese. I'm gonna keep it a buck. If Becky Jones don't like cheese, Sherry Ann most definitely does. I see this girl eating cheese consistently. Um, I'm surprised. Shoo! damn bro ah your girl your girlfriend when she see my dick no let me stop let me stop dude not everybody got the barracucci right jesus christ that's a lot of cheese though. i don't even know how you order that much cheese like what'd you just tell them you know when you have the it kind of looks like the cheese and, and, and the meat don't even combine it's you know what i'm saying like there's like a slick across it where they just don't touch ever you know what i'm saying like that that like product that you spray on your jacket so the water just kind of slides off it. Looks like that for the cheese. I don't know how you manage to get this much cheese on there, dude. You know when you go to the restaurant and they go, Yes, sir. Would you like some cheese on that? And you go, Oh, why, yes. Of course, sir. Yes, I would love a large amount of cheese. And they go, Tell me when, sir. And they just fucking sit there and they just sprinkle it on. They don't stop. They don't stop until you tell them stop. Is it like that? 
where when they're making your burger, you're like, yo, put that cheese on there. Yo, put that cheese on there. Yo, put that cheese, like, you just keep doing that over and over again like that? Like, how, how much is enough, dude? I mean, at this rate, you got more cheese than you do beef. That's not the right ratio either, if I'm be honest with you. You definitely want more meat in your mouth than you do want cheese. I mean, you know, I like cheese as much as the next guy, but that's, that's a lot of cheese. Bro. God damn, that's a lot. Yeah, bro. Because you know what it is nowadays? It's all about the cheese pulls. Like, everybody wants everything to have a cheese pull. Even if it doesn't have cheese, everybody wants it to pull. It's crazy as fuck. It's like when people say, oh, man, wear the gray sweatpants so your dick can print. I, what if I don't want my shit to print? Huh? What if I don't got enough ink for that? Huh? I mean, I never, huh? listen, I always got enough dick to print. But some guys don't. Some guys are working with dickless printing. And they don't got it, okay? They don't got it like that. So not every dude wearing gray sweatpants has the ability to print dick like that, all right, dude? And don't feel like you're inadequate because your meat don't be showing up in the gray sweatpants. It's okay. Me, personally, I'm a grower, okay? So if you saw my meat unmoisturized, unbeaded, you would probably see that and go, what the fuck is that shit? And I would go, what are you talking about? Like, this shit is literally uncanny valley type shit okay just wait okay wait for the potential literally wait for the potential you don't know about this shit look at all that extra skin there's a reason why that exists no guess what i am circumcised <laughs> all that i know crazy right but anyway i want to also point out leah is definitely making better decisions definitely look at she has baked potato with some cheese on it granted but look on the side look at that dude that's some type of salad right something like that a lot of places don't even know what a salad is anymore they just kind of throw green stuff and onions together and they go here's your salad it's not a salad it's just random vegetables you throw off the side. But I guess that's what a salad is in general. But Leah's making better decisions. Give her up. We'll give her, we'll give her a cop for that. Corey, eh, not so much, but it's okay. Beans in the middle of the table. I don't know about that one, man. I mean, of course, you got to go get the ice cream, obviously. Oh, man, she got, she got a milkshake of some kind. Becky always look bigger in somebody else's camera. Yo, look at this black guy coming in, dude. Is this Drake? Oh my God, bro. Look how dark this man is. The melanin going through the roof. It's like all the light just evaporated when he walked in. Something about the sausages that look like sausages. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about things that look like the things that they're supposed to be right? Like when I hear about sausages, when I was a kid, I used to watch Tom and Jerry and they used to look like sausages. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the cartoon representation of sausages. I never saw a sausage before that actually looked like that. That's actually really, really interesting. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Becky, forget about using a filter. Listen, I get it. You want to make sure that people think that you're very, very thin or whatever you want to say. You want to, you know, sit there and think that you pretty girl swag or whatever, dude. Uh, forget it. It's okay. We accept you for the way you are. You're a little bit bigger. It's fine. It's okay. We all have things about ourselves we don't like. But you sitting there putting that filter on, lying to people as consistently as you are. Come on, dude. We saw you on other people's cameras, dude. It's fine. I accept you, Becky. Now, I accept you the way you are, but I also think you should do some things to make it better. But I think you're fine the way you are. You okay? Don't worry about it. I think you're going to get more hate if you didn't, if you don't if you don't get rid of that. And here we go with Corey literally. Oh, my God, guys. Guess what? I identify as a black man today. I put too much of I put too much of Sharion's pink tanner on, and now I'm literally black. I bet he could say the n-word. Nobody would ever have a problem with that shit, dude. What are you talking about? Whoa! Calm the fuck down a little bit. What you doing with that? Damn, man. Why you got yellow marks around your eyes? Yo, I thought you was a lesbian, dude. What the fuck is going on here? Lesbians can use other things, right? Listen, dude. I know a lot of people out there go, it's defeating the purpose. Why are lesbians using dildos? Why are lesbians doing with strap-ons? Dude, listen, okay? What the fuck are you talking about, bro? You can use whatever the fuck you want. Is it gay to get pegged? No. No, uh, well, it depends on who's pegging you, of course. But it's 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 the recipient. I'm uh, sorry, the, the, the giver that is really the questionable one there, right? I mean, listen, if you're having sexual relations with a woman and she's doing things to you and she may be even saying stuff stuff some stuff to you like yeah i'm a man i'm a i'm a full-blown man i love pegging men and men are my favorite ones to, i'm a man i'm a full-blown but she's not a man she's just role-playing a little bit 
is not gay. I mean, it might be, it might be, it might be on the line a little bit. It might be on the line, definitely. But it's not gay. It's a woman, right? It's okay. Don't worry about it. I would, I would never do that though. Me personally, I would never do that shit. My butthole's off limits. Dude, Corey is literally black. Who's that? <laughs> she got that reverse raccoon, huh? Yeah, you guys know about that reverse raccoon? You know how raccoons got the dark marks around their eyes like they're robbers or whatever? This is the reverse of that. So you do all the other all the other angles of your face. You darken nose and then you do your eye area and you make those really, really bright. I call that the reverse raccoon. I don't know why we I don't know why we over like we we whiten the outside of our eyebrows like this. Oh, it's something about it. I just don't understand it really necessarily. Overline also a little bit too extreme. She looked good, but I know damn why that face beat as hell, bro. I hope she wiped that shit off before she go to bed. Doing too much. Why in a day? This morning I had a Maury's Bracky. This is the best Bracky ever. I got French toast, Damn. hashi washies, black puds, saucies, the lot. It was actually stunning. Today is new hair day. I'm having a steny refresh. I gotta get you, yo, dude, getting your hair done while you get a McDonald's delivery is actually meta. Holy shit, based as fuck, bro. Can you imagine that delivery driver pulling up just like, where the fuck do I go? And Sherry Ann like, yo! Right here, you know what it is, bro. Oh, right here, get 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 over here, bro. Give me that Mickey D's. Yo, what up, Jimmy? Because you know, obviously, you order from Uber Eats as much as this person is. You just gotta see, start seeing the same guy over and over again. Maybe he starts waiting for your order because he knows that you ordering consistently. And the other people on the apps, dude, like, what are you fucking talking? You ordering one thing a month, dude? Sherry Ann's over here ordering like nine things a day. And there's only one thing for it when I'm in the hairdressers for hours. Yo, is that woman back there like nine? Hey, I'm having a steny refresh. And there's only one thing for it when I'm in the hairdressers for that woman literally look, she could either be nine years old or 30 i uh, this, uh, she doesn't look like an adult but she looks like an adult i was a uh, mackie I, I got 20 cheese bites damn you got a 20 piece oh my if you guys don't know a 20 piece is supposed to be shared it literally says share box on Fresh. it and there's peep only it, one thing it. for it when i'm in the hairdressers for hours um peep it right there dude 20 piece nugget share box is supposed to be shared between people but she out here literally just swallowing that shit down solely crazy as hell solo dolo on the chicken mcnuggets i think it's like five per serving which is crazy by the way who the fuck is eating five nuggets what are you crazy what am i fucking four but then and then the five chicken cheese bites listen bro i'm not gonna hate on it but good lord you doing yourself a disservice bro all these mouth maneuvers to try to justify these foods come on now Mackies. I and you put your bag on the floor any girl I've ever met that got a designer bag never, ever will put the bag on the floor. They always put it in somewhere elevated just to have that, you know, the pedestal. Got 20 nugs and the new cheese bites. The cheese bites were a bit cold, but the nugs were stunning. Look how long my hair looks. 20. Very beautiful, actually. Very nice. I'm not going to lie. I can't hate on it. It looks very good. 8 inch Denny's. They're from I'm So Pretty, and I'm literally obsessed. We've got a special guest coming to visit Wales tonight. It's only bloody Becky. We've missed us. Yeah, this is kind of crazy, bro. They went all on So this much, one. and tonight we're having a domino. This is literally the leaning crazy. tower of Pisa. Oh, it's so lush to have the gang back together. Crazy, we all had our takeaway while Jesus, watching Saving man. Grace podcast. I went for a cheese burgy wurgy pizza. Who the fuck is hanging out with their friends and watching a podcast? That's weird as hell. Cheese stuffed crust, chicken kickers, and chicken strips. Damn. We were literally feasting B. This Domino's was unreal. Hey, you know, I can't hate on it, bro. They're friends, they're family at this point, dude. I'm happy that they all uniting together to have that time together. And that's beautiful. That's amazing. Kind of like the time that we spend together every single night, huh? Love that. I love that. How you spend time with us. You beautiful, majestic individual. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate for everybody to leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all those things that I appreciate tremendously. So if you can do any of that stuff, I'd appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in Domino's because apparently Domino's got that good shit that make you not quit. I wasn't aware of that. I haven't had Domino's in so long. But over here, we call it the Minos. I know it's good. I know it's okay. It's basic bitch pizza, though. Um, we have plenty of pizza places here on the corners of the streets and stuff like that that I would rather go to than just order in some Domino's. But if you've had Domino's recently, let me know what the best pizza is out there. I'm going to need to know about that. I'm not going to order it, but I would like to know your opinion. Uh, anyway, I love your nasals. I love your nasal passageways. They're they're very, very, very well lubricated. I love the fact that you blow your nose consistently um, to ensure that you get that proper 
to breathe as frequently as you are. I love the fact also that you don't breathe with your mouth as frequently as I feel like a lot of people do. I think it's amazing that you breathe with your nostrils, which is what they're made for, by the way, to breathe with your nose. And that's awesome. I really love that about you. I love when you blow your nose, you're accurate as well. You make sure to get it all and I don't see any of the snot. That's amazing. Oh my God, you do that so well. You're so incredibly talented. I love that about you. But anyway, we're gonna end the video here. If you want to check out my social medias, they'll be linked down below in the description. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.